Yo! Video games. Hey, what's up, Kenny? Hey, hey. So I have my own bingo card, and it only has one thing, and if it lands, I win. Okay, what is it? And that thing is if they talk about the PSP. <laughs> I win. That's all the only, that's the only thing on my bingo card is the P PSP or Vita. Uh yeah, you know, just the PS you know, in general they're they're handheld. Yeah. <laughs> they talk about it in any way, shape or form. What if, what if it what if that includes like putting PSP or Vita games for download, digital download up there? Does that mean you still get that your bingo? Like mm, that one's kind of that one I could see it happening, but even though there wasn't that many games, yeah, so that one's like yeah, that one's like that one's pretty easy. But if they said, hey, not only is a PS Five, we're gonna accompany it with the Vita Two, or the Vita will have new compatibility with the PS Five, <laughs> then Im immediately win. When we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. No, oh, that's bullshit. All footage from this point forward has been captured from PS5 systems. Okay. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Oh, your dad said. You know that. what I'll do? Ooh, Miles. miles. Oh, okay. Well, I'm turn. just uh... go be a hero, Miles. Okay, let's do this. Wow. I can't believe they've got that ready to go this year. Well, I was wrong, chat. えっと、今日は皆さんに僕らが作っている新しいグランツーリスモの情報を I was wrong. すごく興奮しています。Chat was right. え、今回のグランツーリスモは、Chat was right. I was wrong. え、ファンの方が、Chat, these are the words. The president of the United States is incapable of saying I was wrong. I was wrong. Chat was right. Alright, you just grab that No, I grabbed trees. I figured this was going to be there. Uh, the, to me, I'm like, this This was one I was pretty sure about. <clears throat> I'll be catch, I'll be caught up with you now. Sit. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm caught up. Now, this is the game that puts Simmons to sleep, but I... Yeah, yeah. This is the sleepy game. Sleepy game. I'm but sure it's personally. fine for what it is, but I couldn't care less. And it's not like, and it's not like it's Madden where it comes out every single year. These things come out once every, you yeah. know, console generation. Every blue moon. Yeah, once every blue moon. Welcome to Gran Turismo Town. Oh God. Yeah. Oh my god, that's super flashback. Good music. Did they have something like this before? Yeah, there was something like this. Okay. You'd go to your garage, you'd wash your car, you'd add like... <laughs> you wash your car? It. it would give you uh, better aerodynamics if you wash your car before the, uh, a match. You'd, you'd get less drag. I guess, it makes sense, but... Uh, the white bar off Boom. Actual gameplay. You're right. No, You're right, exactly Chris. Right. This is actual gameplay. There you you see a u there's a user interface. Uh, it's not it's not highly edited or any of that bullshit. 
boring ass gameplay. It's Gran Turismo. This is as exciting as these games get. But you're still right. It, it feels special, like when you learn to take the turns and and play, like for reals. <laughs> I guess, but I can't. I can't blow another car off the road. No, yeah, of course. I mean, it's you know. Wow. Here's our Nintendo trying to be like Nintendo game. <laughs> Here, here's our game. We're like Nintendo. It's Ratchet. Yeah. You all right back there? No way. Nice. This looks it like the movie. That the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to, get to right the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. So it's Ratchet Odyssey. The dimensions are weakening considerably. Oh, yeah. cool How bad is it? Rocky Calipor. We all are. Hands are dragoon. Not good. Huh. There you go. There it is. Where are you? got your wish. It's me. Wow. Like, these are the ones <laughs> a big a treasure planet level. What? Dang. And that probably some of that's gameplay? But there's no HUD or anything like that. I mean, it's a highly doctored trailer. It's not like and you'll probably do all this in the game, but, it, but it's not gonna. Yeah. It's not gonna look like a movie. Ratchet. Who? Oh, a waifu. <laughs> a sixty-three ratchet. Hi, I'm Martin Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien wow. worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the dual sense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Another look. Oh, so here's gameplay. Okay, here Did we you go. See that? Damn. Which first one we just saw? Yep, looks like Ratchet and Clank. Just very pretty. Holy cow. Holy smokes. It's Ratchet and Clank. Wow. <laughs> it's like it's like a Rick and Morty Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah. Running really nice too. Nice and sharp. My heroes. Was that a Kraken? Or at least a very large octopus. Oh. I see they got a little bit of naughty dog in there. I will never get used to that. Hey, break reality. I like how it's doing the Ubisoft pre-alpha footage. Uh, this is not pre-alpha. This is, this is not anything of what pre-alpha looks like. No. Take over the universe again. Yeah. This is straight beta at this point. This is this is pre-alpha, right? Yeah. God oh, damn! If this is pre-alpha, what the fuck? Yeah, like beta. It's not pre-alpha. This is beta. Yeah. 
<laughs> Damn, this is that's pretty pretty freaking crazy. I do like the uh, the shift mechanic. Yeah. So it looks like it comes up at certain points when you, you zip line to it, if you will. Okay. Yeah, the disruption physics is pretty freaking sweet. I mean, it looks good. It, 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 it looks definitely looks good. It looks like more Ratchet and Clank. Um, no date on that one, so it's probably a ways off. The PS5 for five hundred. Squeenix. Whoa. Uh oh. It's oh, Luminous. Okay, so this is the Luminous. Tabata Studio that he left. In a world not her own. <laughs> Where resolve will be tested. Truth will be questioned. And devotions will be doubted. She will rise. Thanks. Project Athea. Designed exclusively for PlayStation 5. There we go. That's so that was the game that Tabata didn't want to work on. That he left the studio right after it got formed. So. Wow. Was he that against it, or is he just like, nah? I don't know. It's hard to say. Probably didn't want to work with that shitty engine anymore. <laughs> Boy, I hope that was not what the... It probably is, but I'm like, man, I hope that's not what Square was teasing. Just that. Mm. Just a chick running along like the tops of a cliff. Huh. Some spooky, yeah, yeah, spooky right. look, and a, and a spooky dragon. Like, look, I mean, it's like smear. It's just robots everywhere. Yeah. No humans. Cybercat. Right. It's pretty much like near, right? No humans. Yeah. <laughs> The, the proto near. Oh, you know what? This is work simulator. Uber, it's it's Uber Cat. Yeah, job simulator. Stray. Okay. Stray. Looks like looks like he plays an Uber Cat. Uber Eats cat mm. in a cyberpunk Uber setting. Alright. 21! Uh, the second this. strand game. <laughs> the second strand game. Nice. <laughs> cat stranding. Ooh, cat stranding, yeah. 4K Ultra HD Blu ray. Cat. Ultra high speed SSD. Finally, they have an ultra. Ray tracing. Verilaxing. Ah, uh, haptic feedback. I still have reservations about this controller. We'll drain your battery even faster now. <laughs> we'll, drain <laughs> we'll drain your battery. We'll your battery faster. Adaptive triggers. Adaptive triggers? Nice. So, wait, does that mean I can set... Yeah, does that mean you, you can determine how the force feedback Far on back. them? Yeah, I hope so, so I barely have to tap it. 3D audio. The PS5 will present a paradigm force. shift as oh. to what players will come to expect from gaming. It will let paradigm us tell stories, shift. make worlds... 
create uh, that I think all the usual bullshit at the start really of every new console generation. Over and over. Monumental. First moments on this alien planet. The crash. The attack. My death. Revolutionary. The crash. The attack. Edge of Tomorrow, the video game. Oh, yeah, she's trapped in this endless cycle. Even death is no escape. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. As if changing. This world is becoming part of me. Infecting my mind. This totally looks like a Kojima style thing. Yeah. The thing you know, people always want to do is just touch the alien when they go to a planet. Yeah, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not touching that shit. Oh, look at, look at this creature. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. It looks cool though, I'm not gonna My only choice no. is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. Before the cycle made by Kojima's cousin breaks me. Returnal! It's even a Kojima sounding name. Are we sure this is not a Kojima game? <laughs> it's Kojima's cousin. It was like, uh, you know, Steven Spielberg. I mean, it's got like every spooky sci fi thing in the book, but eh, whatever. It looks cool. It looks like a more fun version of Death Stranding. <laughs> yeah, more fun Death Stranding. Sumo Digital. All right. It's gonna be a car racer, isn't it? Oh yeah. Animal racer. Tony the Tiger. Yep. Five nights at Freddy's. Oh damn, little big planet. Set boys, big adventure. I guess. Hey, here's our Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> Watch Getting this the, Nintendo. Get that Nintendo quota. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised they're bringing this character back. It's nice, like, um... Oh. Co-op. This new girl, sad girl. Together, they're going to bust sacks. <laughs> here's this. Here's this girl I stole straight from Jim Henson Studios. All right. Sack boy and his amazing sack friends. Four player. I mean, it's nice to see that they bring back one of their like uh, staple characters. Does Sackboy have lungs? Uh, and the dirty Sackers. Yeah, it's like their Mario 3D World game. Yeah. Ooh, I bow. Oh, nice. Not wipe out. No 
Destruction Derby. Yeah, nice. Okay. An updated Destruction Derby. Like VR style. Oh, oh Better. My God. This is almost like the game I talked about. This was like. Uh, <laughs> what did I talk about? I talked about. See, this, um, this, this is what I'd rather have than Gran Turismo. I want to blow shit up. This is what I. Uh, uh, Twisted Metal VR, where you drop in and you gotta get a car. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any, like, weapons on the cars, though, so it's like. Yeah. That's why I'm like, it's more Destruction Derby, where it's just. It's just crashing into shit. Yeah. Okay, there's like some upgrades and stuff. I mean, I'd play this for sure. Oh yeah. I'd, I'd definitely check this out. Yeah. Hey, it looks more fun than that uh, rocket, that car soccer. Destruction All-Stars. Kind of a generic ass name, but... Cat girl with how many of your I think, I think they were going for it's Destruction Derby, so they're calling yeah. it Destruction All-Stars. I mean, mm -hmm. You're trying to like, like sell on the point that hey, it's Destruction Derby coming back. Hello everyone, my name is Josh Greer and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes Rocky. in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. Well, he didn't, they didn't use all, all those terms. Is this Brothers 2? I know, right? We're brothers and we're gonna make a game about brothers. I mean, so they did in Cuphead. I know. Yeah, more or less, right? Mm hmm. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do mm -hmm. not fully understand it. Cool design. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubles. Looks like Kubo's. Yeah. Mm. Getting getting some major Kubo Ghibli yes. Right? <laughs> Super. But you can And a little bit beyond good and evil. From me. Yeah. You have no power here. Oh yeah, yeah. Favorite movie. Oh yeah, I'm playing the shit out of this. Uh, uh oh. Double jumping, platforming. Got oh some yeah. Pikmin vibes to it. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, I was thinking Pikmin shit too. Yeah. Okay, it's got like had some good looking combat. Ooh, it's got parries. Oh! Now we just need weapon breaking, Simmons. Yeah, we just need weapon breaking now. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that staff's like a key fucking thing of it. So, no. Kenna. Hey, they made a game. Of <laughs> hey, Kenna. It's Kenna. Kenna, me. Kenna <laughs> wow, I, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> and then Max's chat that goes to my my, uh, my emotes <laughs> and Max is laughing <laughs> what? did I just hear a what the fuck <laughs> yeah cause Max take a look odd world another one huh Abe's in intricacies yo 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 wow They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. Abe's inadequacies. Uh, I remember Slurm. The murderous blades. For the fate of your entire people. Is up to you. <laughs> 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 I 
Failure is hilarious? That looks hilarious. That looks grim right there. And Abe's, and Abe's Odyssey sequel definitely was not what I was expecting to see at this event. Right, right. That was not on any of your bingo cards? No. Definitely not in a bingo card. World, so I'm finally cutting the straps on his fucking mouth. Yeah, huh? PlayStation 5 Shinji Mikami, baby! Mm -hmm. Oh! This was on the bingo card! This was! This was on the bingo card! This was! Supernatural mysterious and So Konisomu, Kyoito, Utskusao, Kanto Tita Kirtomoimas. He went sexy old beard man. Otanashi Kudasai. The chin strap beard. You see things others can't. Wow. Oh wait, was this that game they showed off a long time ago? They never showed, they actually never showed it, showed it. Yeah. Fight when oh. others won't. It's spooky. It's up to you to save spooky. Tokyo. Ooh. Naruto. I mean, this looks like. Looks like Ghost in the Shell. They are. Yeah. Like, this in VR would be nuts. It's first person, so I almost have to imagine it will be. But it may be too action, yeah, too action-y so. for it. Especially with like, like all the movement, that would make you pretty sick. Damn. Neat. I can't believe that got on the bingo. <laughs> I thought that was kind of a 50-50 long shot. Yeah. I was hoping for horror. I mean, it is. It was definitely, there was definitely a lot of horror aspects in there. Someone needs to, like, just stop that. Like, get it through their head. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're asking for your product to not get much coverage because... You're gonna legally ding the people who are gonna to try to cover your game. Yeah. I mean, when we were doing the trailers for the CODs, you know, we had whatever hot trailer we were talking about. Yeah, and they always would get like some, some big, huge music artist. Oh, yeah. You had Prodigy for one, but it was a badass fucking trailer, though. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, look at Interstellar flying around the black hole. Rolling around at the speed of sin. Hyper light journey. Actually doing like full 3D third person now, not overhead. 
I can dig it. Yeah, nice I, movement. I can dig it. Solar Ash. Name's kind of cool. I dig it. Yeah, good name. Right. So far, okay. The best thing, and one of the best things so far was Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Yeah, that's probably one of the big, big ones. Is this some Hitman shit? Yep. Press the PlayStation button on your controller. I'm gonna do it. All right. Oh shit! <laughs> it literally clicked to the next thing when I pressed it. Nah. Well, I have a PS5 now, Chad. My PS4 turned into a PS5. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, PSVR. This is a VR dude. So. You got PSVR in your bingo card, right? I do. Yeah, this is a... Unless they made this not VR, but this was a um, PSVR game. Astro's Playroom. They didn't say anything about VR there, though. Whoa. There was, there was no Ouch. VR logo or nothing. No. Wait. I assume it is? Right? Yeah. But weird that they didn't, not even a logo. Yeah. Which, uh, if I'm gonna have to play PSVR or VR, I'm gonna have to go Oculus now, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, what if it's just like for, for, Showing off tech of the controller and shit. What if it's not VR? Mm. Where's this Bloodborne looking thing? Yeah. Cutesy Bloodborne. This game, yeah, this game was made by a guy with a really long beard and some kind of like funky hat. <laughs> I know exactly the guy you're like the type you're talking about it. Right? Like that's Mad who made Max. this game. Yeah, there's like there's like a guy. I remember there a guy. He got memed to death. He was working on like f like the Fable Connect game, and a big yeah. old Grizzly Adams like like beard or not a big beard, but he had like a big mustache, yeah. long hair, and he had a pink hat with a mustache insignia on the hat, yeah, and like a baseball trucker cap. <laughs> like, like this yeah. is the kind of game that guy would make. <laughs> exactly, the guy who looks like he drinks IPA beer, and knows about <laughs> every single IPA. Yeah, an IPA expert. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey, hey, it's Max! Very. It's Bloodborne tune. Now yeah, you can is. now you can see what it feels like when Wind Waker was announced for me. Is that the name of his turd? <laughs> Could have been. I mean, there was a turd reference. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. <laughs> Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Yeah, there you go. Y'all are not ready for this. The, well, the person who insisted I put oh, NBA yeah. on my bingo card and I went for FIFA, that guy was right. <laughs> 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 That one guy who kept insisting it was gonna be basketball, not not soccer. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, can we show a stadium? Can we show a team playing? This yeah, game show... is coming out in fall. It's pretty much fucking done. Yeah, right. You can't show what it looks like in the stadium. I'm getting flashbacks of Bobby's world listening to this thing. Oh my god. Amazing. Voice oh by Howie Mandel. Oh, Howie <laughs> Mandel. A very recently discovered species entirely unique to this island. Oh, god, this, this one's is lively. The, 
This is so Sony Nintendo, it hurts. Mm. Oh, and it's tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snacks. <laughs> From Octo Dad. Dance, Looks like Viva Pinata too. Right? I think so. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's a good catchy song. Smoke snacks. Smoke snacks. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bugsnacks. <sighs> Liz, I am. Um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands. Oh, but dang! Play the song it, again. And, uh, the song is kind of fire. fire. Oh, again? Yeah, I feel bad because it's like I'm sure that the people working on this game have been working really hard, and yeah. I just have complete disinterest. It's like, I almost feel bad for, for it in a way. I'm like, man, I'm sure these people really are happy with what they've been creating, but I'm just like, oh, yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to feign interest. How's <laughs> <laughs> the bingo? Oh, right. wow, there's pretty decent oh. amount of shit on it do is the is, yeah is the bingo showing off what the console looks like shiny Friday with a chance i didn't ball. i didn't technically i didn't say that i just said price and release date which oh. doesn't doesn't look good right now <laughs> yeah. hi everyone thank oh, you yeah. for hey, being up? with yeah. us today there for was a this game. very special event but before we get to the end of the show mm -hmm. i have I something if very near and dear to me oh, knack oh, three yeah. Knack three. End of the show. Near yeah, and dear oh. to him. Oh, you know what I heard? They're gonna end the the game, the end the presentation with the Fast and the Furious game again. Ooh, excellent. <laughs> you imagine? Death Stranding two. Stranding harder. Near and dear. Shush. It was oh, the first. It's a first party game. It had a PlayStation Studio logo. Oh no, Max is gonna be losing his shit. Elden Ring? Nah, this is this is uh Well, I mean same studio. I'm assuming it's Demon Souls or some shit. Yep, Demon Souls, here we go. I saw the main dude. Yep, that's the first boss. Oh shit, yeah! I remember we played that. <laughs> Diablo. Prepare to die! Blue Point Games, there it is. There it is. <laughs> that was the that was the Capcom block of the show. Yeah. I'm intrigued, but I didn't. I have no idea what the game is, though. So I'm not. I can't say I'm super excited because I'm like, what's the game? You look nice. Why is a girl breathing? That's that because that girl's not human, obviously. Suni. I was wild. I remember on Twitter a long time ago, Sue said that Resident Evil, like, oh, there's, the rumors are fake. There's no werewolves and ghosts. Now there's werewolves and ghosts. 
the old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities. Hey, look at some um, Alcatraz. Graves. I dig the aesthetic, but what is this? Place came new life. Is this Horizon 2? Oh, yeah. It could be. That's actually a really good point. If I start seeing robots, for Oi, sure. Fuck off, boy. The new dangers. There it is. Oh, yeah. I must find a way to stop it. Or it will get worse and worse. beat this or just get so far and just say oh, I'm done. I think he and I both were just like to save this world. we played it and then got bored of it because we get bored of open world easy explore. Mm. wow uh, but I'm definitely interested in this shit wow. Robocrocs no secret I won't unlock No barrier. Games. I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop. Sam makes it. Hey, I like this actor. Forbidden West. We go into the best coast. Exactly. But whatever comes. Elephants. They mean Robo Robo Mastodons or Woolly Mammoths. On behalf of the entire team Power at Gorilla, news. we're happy to share the first look the music break. at Horizon. Oh! oh! Wow, there it is! Holy hell! It it That's looks awesome. like it looks like one of those modern designer f cooling fans, like the kind of like blow like air a... through like through like a ring. <laughs> it looks like a building in Dubai. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a Dubai skyscraper. Or like yeah. a modern day, like, you know, box fan. Yeah, mixed with a router. Or a router, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a funky router. Wow. That is weird looking. Eh, eh. And I think it's only, you can only put it at, like, standing? You can't put that shit on its side. You, yeah, you probably could. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the, the disc tray looks ice, like it could. Ice cream sandwich. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, who cares how a console looks? You're not going to look at the console while you're playing the game, so... True. Oh. Two PS5s. Oh, Digital a, edition. Digital. That's the Steve version. The <laughs> Steve version. <laughs> HD camera. Full street. This shit won't come in the box. No, not at all. I think overall, I think it was a good conference. It's it's yeah. It's mostly what I kind of expect out of a Sony press conference. You know, yeah. there's a lot of a lot of triple I kind of like experience shit, like a few a few wacky indie stuff like Solar Ash and whatnot and the the cat game. 
cat punk. Yeah. But you know, like Xbox is gonna have to come out with some amazing first party. Yeah, I, I, I think they bought. I think for you and me, this wasn't really that exciting because it wasn't really our games. There were definitely yeah. games you and I would be interested in playing, but yeah. this wasn't on a very, very personal level between you and you and I. I don't yeah. think there was anything there that said, I am going to drop $500 right fucking now, or 600 because you got to buy the a, a game with it, of course, too, and yada, yada. Yeah. Um, so, like, I think for you and me, like, I think there were good games and there were big games and big announcements, but yeah. it wasn't the things we... I mean, Spider-Man's pretty pretty up there for us, and I, I'll, ad RDA. I'll admit, I got bored with Horizon about four hours in, but that sequel looked hype, though. Hey, KYH9, it was decent. It was 7 out of 10. There was a real sense of deja vu for me, some things. New and weird really hooked me. I was stay a cat game turns the franchise. Spider-Man, Demon Souls, and Horizon. Yeah, like there, I, I, I did like Destruction All Stars. Like, yeah, I'd play Destruction All Stars. Honestly, yeah. you, you're gonna like, the, the game. I think probably got me the most excited was fucking Kenna. Kenna, <laughs> <yeah>. Kenna, <laughs> Kenna. Kenna to me was like, yeah, I'll give me <laughs> hook that shit into my fucking veins. Um, it looked kind of like a good um, Zelda. Type. Yeah. Yeah, like, Kenna looked good. Uh, Ratchet looked pretty cool. Uh, obviously, I think Miles Morales is going to be dope. Uh, yeah. RE8, of course. Of course, I'm excited for RE8. I mean, it's everything the rumor said it was going to be, so... Kenna. He's actually <laughs> talking about how he invented that name. <laughs> yeah, I, I Project Athea. I don't. That that was that was a fucking nothing burger. Uh, there yeah, were some game. Burger. There were some games that I'm like, that's a nothing burger. Like Pragmatic and Cat Punk. Uh, like there was no gameplay there. I'm like, even if it was captured like in engine or whatever the fuck they said. Um, it's like, okay, I'm not going to be excited for a game. I have no idea how it plays. Mm -hmm. uh, like, RE8 was also kind of bullshitty because we didn't see any gameplay. But we also... It's it's a sequel to 7 with Ethan and, and his wife. We know exactly how it plays. Kind of same with Horizon. Mm -hmm. Horizon didn't really show any gameplay, but I'm like, we know how it's going to play. No, for sure. I, and I think, yeah, I mean... Microsoft's going to show off, you know, a lot of third-party stuff, and it'll probably be a lot more fun, fun games. But I'm like, you're going to play this on the PS5 as well. Yeah. Or if anything, they might have a contract and saying you're going to play it first on the Xbox. But some of their, their, their I, I think it'll be a bigger third-party showcase. And I'm like, okay, wow. This well, Microsoft, cool and fun. Microsoft's interesting because they bought all those fucking studios. Because yeah. they, they know they needed to make games. I yeah. just don't know if they'll the be ready are... to show those games so quickly by next month. I mean, yeah. I know I know. I said... I, I know. I famously said you're out of your fucking mind if you think Spider-Man 2 is going to be ready to go this, this year or soon. And it was. Which, although I'll be... To... to I'll say one thing. The, while that Miles Morales game looked cool, I don't think it was pushing the PS5. Like, I guarantee you that Miles Morales game was planned ahead of time. Like, they were... Yeah. They probably had it in development at the same time as the last Spider-Man game, which is why it probably I mean, took so long to come out. It, 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 it probably was on PS4, and they probably pushed it to PS5. Like, it, yeah, it might have... Probably... Yeah, it might have even been DLC, like a big DLC campaign. That they just said, nah, fuck it, make it its own game. It's like, the thing is, too, it could be just, like, the same city. And it's like, hey, we just change a couple of things, add some buildings, uh, have it run better, and so forth. So, yeah, I could see them. It's like a, it's an expansion. Yeah, I, I... Yeah, like, I'm sure they've been working on it longer than... Than the two... Than, than just the release of Spider-Man. They were probably working on it before Spider-Man came out, but... I'm pretty. I'm also fairly certain that's probably 
probably was DLC that they they decided to add an extra year or two to development and just say, fuck it, make it its own game, make it a PS5 exclusive, make it a launch PS5 game. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure, that'll definitely be launch. And yeah, like I said, it's going to be that Spider-Man that we know, upgraded visuals, better frame rate, and um, we're just going to change up a little bit. They started working on Spider-Man 2 after the first one. I mean, I'm just saying, like, not that I'm not, it's, it's not a slam on Insomniac. I'm just saying, like, that's not enough time for a ground up, fully, full fucking remake on a new system. Like, it was, it was planned ahead of time. It was probably DLC that got turned. That's why it's, pro that's why it's probably called Spider Man Miles Morales, not Spider Man 2. Yeah. Uh, it's just, no one, no one has, like, it's just not physically, humanly fucking possible to make a game sequel at that rate. Shade the Wander is going for new Twisted Metal and Legend of Dragoon remake. Demon Souls Travel Blue Moon. Add cut new content to the game. Ghostwire. But yeah, okay. Um, let me see. If, uh, no, I can give you the tracks for um, the songs that I've made, so you can put them over the songs on um, those trailers. <laughs> put my donkey, donkey music. Donkey music. That way you won't get you won't get demonetized. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens with that. Like, I'll obviously I'll have to like pull it and then um, Demon Soul trailer blew me away. Hope they add new cut new add the cut slash new kind of game. Ghostware Tokyo blew me away. Real home for a six remake. I need a fancy. You're never shade. Uh, thank you for the five dollars. I don't think at the rate Square moves, we're ever going to see a six remake anytime soon. If if even within our own lifetimes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean six is a big game, and there's a lot of environments and areas to six, and just, you're just not gonna at the rate at the at the rate they're moving with Final Fantasy seven. You're you're not seeing that in the first. You're not seeing that in your lifetime. <laughs> the thing is, too, even though by the time if we don't see it in our lifetime, then why even fucking make it? Like, yeah, we'll be like eighty, and like you know, we're gonna be eighty year olds playing that game. Like yeah. any kid at that time, we're gonna be what the fuck is Final Fantasy six? You got, you got to strike the nostalgia hammer, and you yeah, know, we'll be too old to like. Oh my God, the best Final Fantasy ever! Unless you know, yeah, we train all our kids to love Six or something like that. Yeah, well, you're lost. In yeah, if it doesn't happen in the next ten Am years, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm as impressed with this as I am with a Gran Turismo game, where hmm. I, am, I can see the work and effort that went into it, and and. I can see it's a very beautiful, well-made product, but I'm not going to. I can't. I can't feign personal interest in a lot of it. So, like Gran Turismo, like this, it's like okay. It's a lot of big games were announced here. A lot of obviously big shake, big big movers and shakers. But for me personally, it's not really hitting any. Uh, you know, I know a lot of Max's audiences who you guys are here with me are going to be like, there was no fighting games. That's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, 100%. RE8 got a, is a little bit of a muted uh, reveal because the whole thing was spoiled ahead of time. Um, but it also didn't really show much else was going on other than like, hey, Chris has got a new model. Um yeah, and the only so, racing game was pretty much Grand Theft Auto or Grand Turismo, and then yeah. with that, there then, was no like no arcade racer or something. Well, like there's that. Destruction Derby or Destruction All Stars. Yeah. Um, so but, yeah, uh, I, I I think it was I think it was a well done conference. It, it felt like an E3 Sony press conference. Oh yeah, like, for sure. It, it it definitely felt like, hey, this is what Sony used to do at E3 at PlayStation Experience. It felt like that. Very much so, um, but it yeah, didn't have a, a, no, no fighting games. There are some platformers, like Solar Ash, look kind of neat, and Kenna looks great, and Ratchet looks looks very fine. Um, oh yeah, Ratchet looks great. Oh yeah, there was like Sackboy's big nut sacking adventure. Um, yeah. Sackboys and the nut sacks. Sackboy, and then there was Astrobot. So there's actually a fairly few amount of platformers there, but like. Astro Boy looked 
look like that that sort of it's a four player thing i'm not really into multiplayer mm -hmm. platformers they're just they're just divorce makers um, divorce makers <laughs> and i've never been huge into ratchet and clank because i just want a platformer i don't want a fucking shooter i've always i don't think they're bad games it's just like i want a platformer i don't want a third person shooter like i don't want this fucking like fusion hybrid you know neapolitan you know in and out shake mm -hmm. i just want a fucking platformer um get one now but that Ratchet game looks sick. It did look sick, yeah. and I'd pr I'll probably try it. I'll probably try I think so it at too. least. It looked fantastic, like running and yeah. so forth. Now I'm gonna ask this to you and your chat, and my chat. Like, what would it have taken to blow your dick off on to see in this presentation to like make it like a ten out of ten? Um, I think if I, that's a really good question for me because I'm like, I think if we got something from. Ueda san the guy who did shadow of the colossus like yeah. if it was like a, a big reveal for his next game and it showed a lot of it like trailer and gameplay yeah. that that would have really helped um i think if there was some like demon souls was kind of their big like uh their big oh shit like check out this classic game coming back right i i, I think if there was Something that used to be a big beloved Sony IP that yeah. has been wanted and came back strong, like you know Dragoon or or Dark Cloud, like something like that. Like it was Dark Cloud Three Ooh, was announced. Dark or, Cloud would have been fucking. Like cool. yeah, if something like that showed up, I would have been like, oh whoa, oh, that's Shit. that's that's pretty dope. I think I okay personally, I think I think one of the things oh. that probably would have pushed it over the top if there was a little more variety. In genres, because we yeah. basically we we got yeah. we got a lot of platformers actually, and we got a lot of cinematic third-person games and a lot of what I call nothing burgers, where it's like here's pragmatic, here's cat punk, you know, here's here's a bunch yeah. of other things. That, how the fuck does this actually even play, right? Um, that to me, I'm like, okay, that that I don't even know what this game is or how it plays or how it functions, like. I think yeah. a little more diversity in in the genres would have been like you said. There was Gran Turismo and then yeah. kind of nothing. Like there was Destruction All Stars, which is pretty dope. But you know, it's also yeah. like okay, you had a you had a hyper realistic sim racing game, and then you had something that's not even a racing game. It's just a, a, a death match with cars. Uh, like so, there was not really much there. Like even sports, like they had NBA, yeah. and it wasn't even it wasn't even gameplay at all. It was literally like, look at the sweat on this guy from the Pelicans, and he yeah. and he breaks the rim. Goodbye. <laughs> like, yeah. Um. So yeah, there there was, you know, it, we got some first person shooter with that that Bethesda game and Tokyo mm -hmm. Ghostwire. Uh, I guess is nice. I guess. Yeah, yeah. But those are like those are kind of oddball. Like I guess the. What was it called? Blah, Arcane Studios game. R not Returner, Returner. But like, Returner. There's another one that's like... It's kind of a nothing burger. It showed third-person shooting. So I guess it had a little bit of gameplay in there. But it was also like... It looked cool, but I'm not really sure how this is going to work. Returnal? Yeah. yeah. No, there, there was Time Loop or Death Loop. Death Loop mm -hmm. was like the most shooty-looking thing in there. But... I don't know. Like, I, I felt like there was a little bit of a lack of variety... Uh, in, yeah. in genres, not in games, because we saw games of all different colors and sizes and shapes uh, in there. When, when I mean sizes and shapes, I mean budget, <laughs> budget size yeah. and stuff like that. And, and uh, but so much of that to me was like, this is not gameplay. I think a big, another big thing that would have helped me was if there was more. And it, it, it would have to be longer, and that's fine if it was longer. But if there was like. Here, I'm going to fucking play the game, like, live. Like, someone hooked a capture card up to the PS5, and I'm like, I'm going to play for you 10 minutes of Resident Evil 8 on the PS5. And you see direct capture gameplay. Like, the most direct feed gameplay we saw was probably Gran Turismo 7. Yeah. Uh, and, and I actually would have liked it if more was like that, where it's like, here's some direct feed. Like, here's a guy playing it. He's, he's streaming the game. 
Uh, so, I mean, that happens sometimes in conferences, literally. But a lot of times, you're right. It's just like this fluff shit that they get ready to show you. Yeah. And then every once in a while, they'll be like, hey, this is the guy. And then they'll actually show it. Like, the, yeah, because you, you get something conference. like Returnal or, or Deathloop or, or whatever. And you're like, okay, that's kind of cool. What do you do in this game? And if someone was just playing it and showing it, it'd be like, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Like, you watch someone play it for a little bit. Um, I, I, you might agree with me on this. It seemed like there were some very big absences from major, major publishers there. Oh yeah. Or, or if it, or if it, or if it what, or if they were there, it was very muted. Like, Capcom showed up with RE8, right? Okay, that's cool. No Namco whatsoever. Square yeah. was there for all of 20 seconds in, in, in more or less a nothing burger game. Uh, uh, and and uh, I mean I could, I could probably go on, like EA didn't show up that's fine uh, <laughs> but like Activision like didn't Ubisoft. yeah Activision didn't show up Ubisoft didn't show up really I mean there probably was something there I don't know um, maybe yeah but yeah like there was just a lot of big publishers just didn't didn't show up which you know is why? super because weird I guarantee Xbox snagged them Xbox is like. They Maybe. paid them a bunch of money. It's like, hey, can we we want to show your game off exclusively for Xbox One mm -hmm. X? Yeah, and Maybe. I guarantee you they pulled it because they kind of did that like last year or during the whatever E3, and everyone's like, oh, Xbox One, Xbox One, because they were yeah. showing off all these cool games. But I'm like, they were showing off so many third party games. Like, how do they win? This game is going to be out on as well as on the PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a more hype presentation true but every game that you saw xbox presenting the previous year is going to be on the playstation so it might as well be a show for both yeah and yeah that's I, I that's it's that's, happen again. that's that's definitely a big big possibility there uh and, mm -hmm. and and sony has been obviously holding on to a lot of these first party games they showed for a very long time uh like they've been very very quiet for like two years it's Even good, but it like, um, yeah, it's good, but it didn't have a lot of shit personally for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah. first party stuff wasn't wasn't overwhelmingly mind blowing or anything like that. Yeah, and like you said, bringing back some kind of uh, beloved franchises or something like that would have been sick. 